This is Judge Joe Brown, and you're watching We All Be News TV, the News Free Dixie. News Free Dixie for the 21st century. is all out these days to try and do something about destabilizing the masculine component of society. There is a large body of people involved with Hollywood, the lesbian interests, the radical feminists, and the LGBTQ crowd who want to, let's say, tone down or take down masculinity. And over the last 45 to 50 years, there's been an asserted and astute campaign conducted by Hollywood to do just that. And it's not surprising, considering that LGBTQ boasts that 85 to 90 percent of all of the people employed in various fields in Hollywood are LGBTQ. So it's not surprising. You can see that. Uh, Justice League is a very nice, exciting, you know, superhero movie. Mm -hmm. There's just one problem with it. You have Batman, Superman, Aquaman, The Flash, and Cyborg. And guess who their leader is? Wonder Woman. <laughs> you have the new Star Wars is just absolutely atrocious about this. They have actually got this thing down where those on the dark side are masculine and those on the side of light are all dominated by, run by, commanded by, or corrected by strong women. You've got a situation where you put Luke Skywalker up against an untrained young girl and she's stronger in the force than he is, and she can wield a lightsaber just instinctively with no training better than anybody else, including Darth Vader's grandson, who is the apprentice to the chief Sith Lord, and she challenges him, and she's got no training. Mm -hmm. But you have the situation. You've got somebody that's supposed to be a masculine hero, he and a woman are escaping on an animal and riding away at a gallop, and she's sitting in front, and he's holding on to her, telling her not to go so fast. <laughs> and, you know, there is a good guy who's strong, but he tries to do the man thing, and he's proven wrong, and the women were right. You know, it, it's just awful the way you go through this thing. This is why I want to talk about that. It's well done. Okay. They aren't even subtle about what they did. They made the most powerful Jedi heir ever a young woman, and she's strong enough to deal with Darth Vader's grandson, <laughs> who is strong in the dark side of the Force, and she has no Jedi training. She this was took Luke Skywalker on and held him at bay. And the commanding general is a woman. The, her replacement is a woman. The bad guys are all masculine dominated, except they got one evil woman who works for them, so they make her evil. And on the good side, it's all guys who are bossed by women. They even have a little <laughs> subtle shit like... Uh, one of the so-called heroes, a male, you know, when they escape on the wild, on the animal, uh, the woman's riding in front and he's holding on behind her instead of the other way around. 
Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it's crazy, and man. There, I looked at that and I said, you know, this is a hell of a subliminal message to be sending to all these young boys about girls being strong and in charge. Let's get to the Justice League. They got you brought that up. Superman, Aquaman, Flash. Flash. And they've got Cyborg and Wonder Woman is the leader. <laughs> that was crazy though, man. Uh, and that's the that's the movie that got me convinced that Ben Affleck would make a great Batman. But then, like yeah, you said, he, he did Batman well. I, yeah, I, I thought Affleck does a good Batman, and the last guy too. I oh yeah, yeah, Kristen Bell. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean they've got Batman down as some dark somebody, you know, and they've got him aged, and he's talking about. Well, know, he was like it, it was around like he was like middle aged, right? Batman, like the original, like was he like you know in his forties or fifties? Yeah, fifty something. Mm-hmm. So I mean they they got him cast right because sometimes Ben Affleck be like I don't know sometimes his movies be great like I like the accountant then I saw Live by Night I was disappointed in that but he's like it's like Ben Affleck he like a hit or miss type of dude yeah. He can play a part. Mm-hmm. And I that gal got oh, he's fine. I, I mean, she is. She, I know what you know what, uh, Judge. I didn't know she was gonna make a great Wonder Woman, but she is a hell of a Wonder Woman. Yeah, I know. I mean, likable. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, it's just the idea that they're making her the boss of Superman and Batman. You know, and Superman don't need no boss. He's Superman. Damn it, he don't need nobody and boss. Him. You notice in this one, he went to his dark side too. Oh, yeah. You know, like, when he ain't being nice, there's <laughs> something that you, gotta, you don't want to come out. Oh, yeah. But I like Batman. I like his guts, though. He, uh, you know, he's going to kick his ass, but Batman is going to take it back. I like, that's my favorite superhero. You also notice, too, you <laughs> mm-hmm. got him under control. Okay. Wonder Woman. No. Oh, he's on Lois Lane. Lois yeah, Lane. yeah. The women, that's his weakness. Now, in the comics that they're playing right now, that come on in the daytime for uh, young teens, yeah, you know, mid mm-hmm. school, high school, mm-hmm. the plot line is Lois Lane is jealous because Wonder Woman is trying to develop a thing with Superman, and <laughs> Wonder Woman's sidekick, this Amazon, is jealous. Because of her attentions to Superman. Wow, that's the kids' cartoon. That's the kids' cartoon. <laughs> they are really pushing their agenda. Set up, and Batman is quiet, and he's the mediator between the super-powered alien and the goddess. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I want to see how they pull this next one off for Marvel Comics. The Avengers. Yeah, they're gonna put the Black Panther in there, some other characters they're going to add, all of the Avengers you've got so far, and Thor is going to wind up meeting Masters, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. You know, with that crazy-ass... Raccoon. <laughs> raccoon. So they all going to come together in this next movie? Yeah. Whoa, they're going to be like, they're going to make a lot of money. And that's the only one where it, Marvel's the only one where they still have a masculine component, man. Yeah, because DC, like, I'm one well, the Justice League was a pleasant surprise. You know, I'll be with the Wonder Woman thing. I was ple- I was pleasantly surprised by Justice League. I thought it was going to be like like Suicide Squad or something. Yeah, it it, it, it comes off good. At least mm-hmm. they're talking about philosophical issues. Right. And Flash, you know, if you've seen the TV series, no, is it good? In the TV series, his dad is in jail. Mm-hmm. By now, he's working for the coroner's department, working with as a medical examiner with the police. Mm-hmm. And guess what? What? His adoptive daddy is a black cop. Oh, wow. I got you guys. I got you guys to show you. And there is the cop's daughter. Wow. Or at least he's got this love that over four years finally coalesce together and they're supposed to get married in the timeline okay but see it's interesting where they play black people pretty cool in that one she's a reporter okay have you checked out the luke cage thing on any of the netflix things like the marvel universe on netflix no oh yeah a little anyone you like i've only watched somebody else's i don't have any subscription to netflix 
Yeah, because they got some interest. I think you like Punisher, though, because he's very masculine and he doing his thing. Like They got some interesting storylines in Punisher. And also Luke Cage is pretty cool. He's that bald-headed brother. They got him bald-headed now. And he's all his girlfriends, he screwed. Like, all his friends that are women, he just basically screwed them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, look at what they're doing with the Black Panther. They even taken the stuff off of the Panther Party to an extent. Really? Yeah, and they made Black Panther way deep in the sci-fi stuff. So, what do you think? Are you gonna watch it? I know you're gonna see I, it. I'm gonna go watch it. Mm-hmm. One thing I did not like that's Marvel. I've liked okay, all of them except that shit with Deadpool. <laughs> it's kind of gay. It's, it's very gay. Very gay. The homoerotic. Yeah. <laughs> that thing about his girlfriend taking a dildo and butt fucking him, you know? Right, right. Are you still going to look at the, 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 the part two coming out? Are you still going to catch it or are you just going to leave it alone? No, I'm going to leave uh, Deadpool alone. I did not like that one. That was just too, too much. So, Kim, there's nothing redeemable about Deadpool at all? I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I might go see it just because it's Marvel. Mm-hmm. They have I been consistent, though. Marvel has been consistent with their stuff. Yeah, and you notice that uh, Lee, uh, Stan Lee, always has a cameo in the movie. Oh, yeah, he getting paid real well. I hope he you know, he get paid. Yeah, well, he invented all those characters. This is amazing. This is very brilliant. And but Disney, what do you think about the Disney and Fox deal? He's ought to be in his late 80s. I thought he would probably be in his 90s. He might be in his night. Yeah, but I mean, he he living good. He living well. So I mean, that's good that he getting his attention and uh getting his props and stuff. And I know yeah, Disney yeah. and Fox is to get on the Marvel Universe now. We'll see. He started the cartoon stuff back in the forties. Mm-hmm. Been doing it that long. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Wow. See, Dale came out with Superman and Batman, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Supergirl, and then they picked up Wonder Woman. The guy that invented Wonder Woman was the same guy that invented the polygraph test. They got a movie out. Have you seen that movie about the origins of Wonder Woman? No, I have. There's a movie about that guy, about how he came up with Wonder Woman. I haven't seen it. I'm going to check it out. Wikipedia changed what they had in there. I took some pictures of one of the articles Mm -hmm. so I could get a screenshot. Mm-hmm. And they talked about her having the obvious lesbian origin and how she morphed into a bisexual. And then it wow. kept it quiet. But now it doesn't have that in there. But then you can get to, uh, what's his name, Spielberg's critique of Wonder Woman. And it does have it in there. Spielberg? Steven Spielberg? Yeah. He, he didn't, didn't like it? it. Yeah, he made a critique of Wonder Woman. I think it was Spielberg or it's the other guy that did Star Wars. Uh, know, George Lucas? Not, Lucas. You know, he's not, it's either Spielberg or Lucas, but you know he did not do the last three Star Wars. They sold it to Disney or something, right? Disney owns it, right? Or Yeah. Okay. Disney owns uh, Marvel and shit, too. They got that Fox deal. Yeah. Disney is too uh, powerful. Shit. I usually like Marvel because it's masculine, but that damn... Uh, uh, Deadpool. Deadpool was too goddamn gay for me. What about the uh, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy? How you like them? Okay, remember the guard, the uh, Star Lord, the young guy from Earth, is right. half god. Remember in the right. last one, his daddy was a planet. Yeah, he was screwing everybody. Like, <laughs> yeah, ego. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's okay. They've got a fair treatment of masculinity mm-hmm. and the woman is strong the green one right but she can be a woman yeah yes no but anyway one woman got you don't know, think you don't think one woman is like a woman like how she's portrayed she got you know it's like she got feelings for for batman and superman or something yeah, Something's going. but see, she was in love with that pilot. Now, the way it came out originally, that pilot was in World War Two, Right. And see, what she was doing when they came out with this thing in the 40s, Hitler was around. So she set up with Allied Intelligence. Mm-hmm. And she had an invisible airplane. 
Mm-hmm. And she had an Amazon sidekick that would ride with her. So what they'd do is they'd fly this invisible stealth airplane into Germany. Mm-hmm. And she would seduce the wives of Nazi generals. Oh, wow. That's the original? <laughs> yeah, that's the original. <laughs> and then they had her hook up with this American pilot. Uh-huh. World War II, which is the one in the movie series was in World War One, who got killed. Right. Okay, but in, even in this one, you know, she said she'd been having lesbian affairs with other Amazons. Yeah, the fact that she's from an Amazon place let you know they lesbians. Yeah, well, she said it. Mm-hmm. She said she knew how reproduction worked, but she all of the sex was with women. Right. This is crazy, man. This is who they was pushing but the thing. This dude was a freak that it concocted her. He based the Wonder Woman character on the lover that he and his wife had that lived with him for 15 years. They were into sadomasochism, and he wrote a book on how she tied them up and would the strap them lasso. <laughs> lasso, you know, and put an mm. apple in their mouth and whip them with a riding <laughs> crop, you know, and piss on them and all this other shit. So what's different from Harvey Weinstein and all them? I mean, that's Hollywood, right? Yeah. <laughs> You know, La La Land and the women are talking about they're complaining because they decided to take a shortcut to the park. Now, let's put it this way. The thing that gets me is every man that's grown can tell you that more Nookie got away than he got. So how are these fine starlets being taken advantage of when all they have to say is, no, I don't want to park? You know, you go yeah. up and the guy meets you at the front door with a bathrobe on open and exposing himself. You don't have to go in. That's true. You know, you keep going back up there. You don't have to go back up there. You always wanted this part. Well, you can get a job in the real world like everybody else. Yeah. And I looked at that and said, man, look what they're doing here. I mean, this is just an ultimate extension of this campaign, take your daughter to work week. We have never had to take your son to work week. And at one point, somebody said, well, all these boys are all ahead. They need to catch up, the girls. I mean, the girls need to catch up. But you look at today's society, and even the defense department is upset. For the first decade of the 21st century, their figures showed that, A, on average, only 28% of each year's high school graduates were male. Only one-third, basically 32% of the college undergrads were male. And only 36% of the grad students were male. And only 44% of the workforce is male. Hmm. And something's going wrong, It's as per their conclusion, with the way boys are being raised to be adult males, they're not getting the manhood component. They say, we can make you strong, but we can't make you tough. And they're lamenting the fact that the recruits they get are not as tough as they used to be. Mm -hmm. So now they have to accept women in command roles, and that's what they have done with the military, and now court, a court, a federal court has ruled they have to let transvestites in. Now, this is where Trump needs to come in. He needs to issue an executive order as commander-in-chief saying, okay, if we got to get them in, we're not going to spend any tax dollars letting them get a conversion operation. That may be why you get so many, or not so many, but apparently some want to get in because at taxpayers' expense, they get converted. You know, they get the surgery, free of charge. Like Chelsea Manning. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I look at all of the people who need medical assistance. I look at all of the elderly people who have, well, myself included, who have huge copay uh, bills for necessary medication. And I said, no, you don't need to convert anybody on our tax tab. Mm. You know, that's elective. You do that on your own. you got a right to do what you want, but we don't need to pay for it. They have an absolute right to do what they do. They have an absolute right to use the political process to advance their ends. They have an absolute right 
under the First Amendment to utilize freedom of the press to push their positions, and they have an absolute right to work as anybody else does. But it seems they have gotten control of the media, and they have engaged in a humongous propaganda effort over the last 50 years. And as Josef Goebbels, propaganda minister for the Nazis, said, before World War II, tell a lie one time, it's a lie. Tell it a thousand times, it becomes the truth. Tell a lie long enough and loud enough, and you can get anyone to believe it. And the news media has spread a lot of mythology that is not in our best interest.